Crystal Tears by Nocturnal Depression. The song is in standard tuning and it starts like this. <laughs> playing open A string to 7th fret of the D string, play that twice, then open A to 9 of the D, open A to 10 of the D, so that's, then we're going to play open A 7, open A 7 again, open A 10 of the D, open A, 9 of the D. So that phrase. Then we're going to come down to the bottom string. We're going to play open, 7 on the A, twice. Open bottom string, 9 of the A. Open bottom, 10 of the A. And then repeat that. So together. So play through that sequence a couple of times, then we got. So what we're doing here, we're playing a 7th fret power chord on the bottom string and we're playing E, A, E, A strings. Then we're hammering from 9 to 10 on the A string. So we're going to hammer down and then play it. And then take it off and play the 9th. So that again. same sequence. So what I've got to say at the start of that is that's half of that riff so we're going to play so we're playing the first half of the bottom E string riff before we go into and then we're back into until the distorted guitars come in. Then we've got this riff with distortion. So we're going to tremolo pick the A string and the D string. We're going to play frets 2 on both of those and play that with your second finger and your third finger because the first finger is going to play fret 1 on the A. So. <laughs> Again, tremolo picking those two frets, uh, sorry, those two strings. So, 2-2, two, two, then we're going to play one of the A and two of the D. Then we're going to move that up to fret 5 on the A and the D and play the same thing. Back down to fret 2. Then up to fret 5, but we're only going to play half of that. Then we're not going to come down here, we're going to play a power chord on the 7th fret of the bottom E string. And then down to 3 and 2 power chords on the bottom string. So we end that riff with an open bottom string power chord. Then we got this. Mm -hmm. 
So, basically we've got an E minor chord, a G minor, a G chord and a D chord. So, we're playing 2nd fret of the A, 2nd fret of the D and open G. So, then we're going to play 5 of the A, 5 of the D and 4 of the G. Back down to 2, 2 and open. Then we're going to play 5 of the E, 5 of the A, 4 of the D. And the picking pattern is going to be E, A, D, A. Twice. Then E, A, D, G. D, A, E, A. So slowly, that part. So then we've got the same riff, but now we're going to play the bottom string as well. So because it's an E minor chord, we're going to play the open E as well. So that's E, A, D, G. Then we're going to play a G bar chord, and we're going to play E, A, D, G again. Back to the E minor. And then back to this D chord. But I think the picking pattern here is the same as it was on the original. In fact, I don't even think it goes to the G, I think it's just. Last time we start playing through this riff becomes the first part of the next riff. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to play that again. Minor. Then we're going to play a power chord on the 5th fret of the A string, 4th fret of the A string, 5th fret of the A string. Then we're going to play a power chord on 7, 8, 5, 7. So that becomes the new riff that we've moved into. So power chords on seven, five, four, five, seven, eight, five, seven. Then we're back into this riff that we played earlier. So at the end of that section, we're just going to finish on an open power chord on the bottom string. Then we've got the following chords, B minor. A minor. B minor. A 
minor. G. And what I will say, at the start of the song, in, and on the distorted parts, the guitar sounds like it's in tune. On this section, it doesn't sound like the guitar is tuned to standard pitch. So, when playing along, the chords might sound slightly out of tune, but I think the original recording is not at standard pitch at that time. So then the distorted guitars come in and they play over the top. We're just going to play power chords. <laughs> be a B power chord on the second fret of the A, open A, B on the second fret of the A, open A, third fret of the E, and they will go over the top of those clean chords, the strummed ones. Then we have a new chord progression, which is F. Open, uh, e minor, F, G. So we've got two things here. We've got the power chord, and we've also got the clean chords as well. Um, don't know how much this will clean up. And then just regular bar chords, F, E minor, F, G. Then we're back into the B minor, A minor, B minor, A minor, G. Chord progression with those distorted power chords over the top. Then we're back into F, E minor, F, G. And then the song fades out during that chord progression.